God says, my dear child, I am sending you love and healing energy this week to help you rise above insecurity. Type 999 if you believe in God's power. My dear child, as you stand at the threshold of this new chapter in your life, know that it is not just another phase, but a remarkable transition into a season of unparalleled freedom, success, and abundance. Like this video to get God's blessing. This isn't merely a change in time, but a profound transformation in your journey orchestrated by the divine. You have walked through valleys of challenges and climbed mountains of difficulties. Each step you took, though heavy at times, was paving the way for this moment. The lessons you learned were not just to get by, but to build you, to prepare you for now, for this season of bounty and endless possibilities. In this new season, you will find the freedom you've longed for. This freedom is not just an absence of constraints, but the presence of opportunities to express your true self, to chase your true passions. You will no longer feel the chains of doubt or the shackles of fear. Instead, you will experience liberation in its truest form, the liberty to be, to create, to love, and to live fully. Now, all they have are these fragments of the past, these captured seconds that seem both a blessing and a curse. As they trace the outline of your face, a tear escapes a silent testament to their love and longing. Shout, bless me, my Lord Jesus. The room is silent, but in their heart there is a cacophony of emotions, sorrow for your absence, gratitude for the time shared, and a deep love that time cannot diminish. You left an indelible imprint that shapes their days, your words, your actions, your love, all these things live on, even if you cannot. They find themselves talking to you in their thoughts, sharing the triumphs and trials of their days, as if you were still there to listen. Nights are the hardest, the world is quiet, but their mind is clouded with memories. In the event that you are Christian, we ask that you support our Christian community with a super thanks contribution of up to $1.25. This will help us preserve and spread the gospel across the arena. Thank you very much. Amen. Remember, you are more capable and stronger than you think. Each day that comes, you have the opportunity to grow and learn. Insecurity often comes from comparing yourself to others or focusing on your perceived flaws, but know that this, you are unique and your journey is different from everyone else's. Embrace your individuality. The things that make you different are the things that make you special. When you feel insecure, take a moment to reflect on your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Celebrate them. This practice will help you build confidence in your abilities and remind you of your worth. Surround yourself with people who uplift you. Seek out friends and family who encourage you, who see your value, and who love you for who you are. Their support will be a strong foundation. When you are feeling low, take care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Exercise, eat healthily, get enough sleep, and engage in activities that bring you joy. When your body feels good, your mind often follows. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself, especially in moments of doubt. Speak to yourself as you would to a dear friend. Remember that everyone has moments of insecurity. It doesn't define who you are. Challenge negative thoughts. When a negative thought about yourself comes to mind, question it. Is it really true? Often these thoughts are based on old fears and not on the reality of who you are today. Set small achievable goals for yourself. As you meet these goals, your sense of accomplishment will grow and so will your confidence. Find time for reflection and meditation. Connecting with your inner self can provide clarity and peace helping to quiet the insecure thoughts. Success. Hell will take on a new meaning in your life. It won't just be about achieving goals or earning accolades. Instead, it will be about realizing your potential, about making a difference, about leaving a mark that is uniquely yours. Every effort you make will bear fruit, and every dream you harbor will find its way towards realization. Your hard work and perseverance will pay off in ways you never imagined and abundance will flow into your life like a river. This abundance is not limited to material wealth, but it encompasses joy, love, taste, and fulfillment. You will witness an overflow of blessings, not just for your own benefit, but so that you can be a blessing to others. 
Your life will become a testament to the fact that abundance is not just about having more, but about being more. Remember, this is not a coincidence. It is a divine appointment, a result of your faith, your prayers, and your unwavering trust in the higher plan for your life. You were always meant to reach this point to experience this era of growth and prosperity. In this season, embrace every opportunity, cherish every moment, and remain grateful for every blessing. Keep your heart open, your mind receptive, and your spirit aligned with the divine. By doing so, you will not only enjoy this season to its fullest, but also pave the way for even greater things to come. So, my dear child, step forward with confidence and joy. Let go of the past, leave in the present, and look forward to the future with hope. Know that you were loved, aided, and supported at every step. Welcome to your new season, a season of freedom, success, and abundance, my dear child. As you embark upon this new journey in your life, I want you to prepare your heart and mind for what lies ahead. I am about to shower you with a treasure trove of good things, blessings that will not only enrich your life, but also illuminate the paths of those around you. This outpouring of blessings is not merely a reward. It is a testament to your faith, your resilience, and your unwavering spirit. You have weathered storms, faced trials, and overcome obstacles with a heart full of hope and a spirit that refuses to be dampened. It's now about time for you to receive the abundance that has been waiting for you. The treasures I am going to bestow upon you will come in many forms. Some will be moments of sheer joy and happiness, moments that will make your heart swell with gratitude. These moments will be like precious jewels, rare and invaluable, reminding you of the beauty of life. You will also experience treasures in the form of opportunities, opportunities that will open doors to your dreams, that will lead you to paths you've longed to tread. These opportunities are like keys to hidden treasures, waiting for you to unlock them and explore the wonders within. There will be treasures of relationships bonds that will enrich your life in profound ways. You will meet souls that resonate with yours, with relationships that will be as comforting as a warm embrace on a cold night. These connections will be your support system, your cheerleaders, and sometimes your guides. In this season, you will find treasures in the lessons you learn, each one shaping you, molding you into a better, stronger version of yourself. These lessons, though challenging at times, are light maps to hidden treasures, guiding you towards wisdom and personal growth. You will also discover treasures in the form of inner peace and contentment. Type Amen if you want God's blessings, a sense of fulfillment that comes not from external achievement, but from an inner wellspring of tranquility. This peace will be your sanctuary, a place where you can retreat to find strength and serenity. As these treasures come into your life, remember to receive them with open arms and a grateful heart. Each blessing is a part of a greater plan, a mosaic of your life that is being beautifully pieced together. Cherish each one, for they are as unique as they are precious. But also remember, my child, that with these treasures comes responsibility, the responsibility to use them wisely, to share them generously, and to remember that they're not just for your benefit, but also for the benefit of others. Use these blessings to make a difference, to spread love, kindness, and hope. As you prepare yourself for this shower of blessings, remain humble and grounded. Keep your faith strong, your heart pure, and your intentions noble. Stay true to yourself and to the values that have guided you this far. Know that I am always with you, guiding you, loving you, and cheering you on. I take joy in your happiness and pride in your achievements. You are my beloved child, and it is my greatest desire to see you thrive and flourish. Brace yourself, my dear child, for a season of abundance, a season where the heavens will open up to shower you with a treasure trove of good things. Embrace each blessing, use it well, and let your life be a beacon of hope and a source of inspiration to others. My dear child, as the night unfolds its thor veil and the world quiets in anticipation of the dawn, there is something wondrous awaiting you. When the first light of tomorrow morning touches the earth, you are going to witness a miracle, the first of many that will grace your life. 